Hey friends, today I am hanging out at Disney Springs. We are gonna do a little dinner and maybe a little shopping. The Edison invited us out to come try some of their menu. I have never eaten down inside the restaurant before. I've only stopped by and had appetizers and drinks, so that'll be the first for me. But also, I'm in the hunt for a new spirit jersey. Maybe a Halloween one? I don't know. Anywho's, let's go do this. We are gonna jump right into the Edison because it looks like we're gonna get some rain here, but I'm excited. The food looks fantastic here. One of the coolest things about the Edison is basically the decor inside. Like, look at this little waiting area. As soon as you walk in the door, those are some fancy chairs. This restaurant has one of the coolest looking themes to it I've ever seen. I absolutely love everything in here. Luckily, I won't be dining alone. I have company this evening. Jackie super enthused. Welcome to the Prohibition era. Very fancy, and you look all fancy. You know, I tried. I don't like three dresses. But yeah. yeah. The Edison has some amazing cocktails, including some nifty named Prohibition ones like the Tesla, the Bootleggers Basil. But what I'm going with is the old fashioned, and I'm going to have it smoked too. Don't you love a little smoke in old fashioned? And like I mentioned before, the restaurant is basically themed with a prohibition kind of era. And I just love the way it looks in here, mixed with like some steampunk. Very cool. They have black and white movies actually playing on the walls, and even a place for some live entertainment, Jackie. Oh, maybe I should go up there and perform. Oh, yes. I would love it. All of the staff is all dressed in like kind of a Great Gatsby attire, and I really like it. It makes it look really fun and hip. It's like a real good party in here all the time. While we wait for our drinks, we've got some candy bacon. I was really excited to get this since I've seen it hanging on the menu outside. Well, hanging here too, but look at that. Okay. Nate is getting his drink smoked. Okay. So with all the smoked old fashioned, this is my smoked old fashioned. So what I do is I am burning the orange peel first to accent the oil to help bring out that earthy. The old fashioned itself is made with redemption rye, which has nice vanilla and some spices with cinnamon and black walnut bitters. And it's gonna, again, bring out a lot of the earthiness of everything. So just gonna squeeze, get the oils on the outside, drop it right in. So now the fun part. Woo! So now we have apple wood. It's an applewood chips, so when this burns and everything goes together, it is going to be absolutely delicious. Wow. Oh my gosh, look, they put it in that dome. Whoa. Ready? Yep. Woo! So doing it this way, you, keep, you, get, so you get the smoke in the ice, in the drink, instead of having like you see people upside down. Nice. It smells so good. Yeah, this is amazing, guys. Thank you. Thank you. This smells absolutely amazing, guys. I don't know what to tell you, but when he like lit the lemon on fire, and then just the smell of the, just the, the smoker was unbelievable. I can't wait to try it. But I will definitely indulge in an old fashioned every once in a while. And this is like so amazing. Like if I do, this is how I have to do it. It's just how I have to do it. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. And then like when you go to take the sip, you kind of get like, you, you smell it like, oh, really, oh, fantastic. But now I gotta try this candy bacon. Like that. Look at how cool that looks. I love it. And it kind of sticks right to the clothespin so you can eat it yeah. just like that. It's like a lollipop. Do you cheers that? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going all in on this. Yeah, I'm using this That might be the best bacon I think I've ever had. Mm -hmm. I absolutely love it. And you can see the little char marks that they do because they cook it right there with the, the actual blowtorch. Mm -hmm. I love it. Oh my gosh. Now we need to start thinking about food. And that's the queen cut prime rib that we are looking at outside. I really might want to get that. But maybe the short rib as well. They have a lot of good, a lot of good offerings. Even some burgers. And then, of course, the desserts. 
so far just sitting back here drinking a smoked old fashioned with some candy bacon. Sounds like an amazing time. I'm having an amazing time. Me too. Jackie told me the sauce is pretty yeah. delicious. What kind of sauce is it? It's like a, Don't remember, a it's sweet. Like a, it's sweet with like a little bit of salty savory in it too. So I'm gonna dip my bacon in it. Look at how funny this looks. Get in there. I know it does. It does, right? Oh, it's like a jet. It's like a jam. Yeah. Ooh, fancy. Mmm. Honestly, I'm a very plain guy. Very plain guy, but I really have to say, the bacon is better with the sauce. Yeah! Another really cool thing, when you do order the bacon, you kind of get a little souvenir because you get to take the clothespin home with you. So you get to maybe just like, boop. Food is here, guys, and take a look at this. These are the carrots and mashed potatoes. Look at that prime rib. Unbelievable. Oh yeah, oh, and Jackie's looks great. That's the short rib. These look fantastic. I'm a little, I'm blown away. Me too. Normally, I would go about getting a prime rib probably around mid-rare, but since this is gonna be on film and a lot of people are sensitive to the meat, I decided I'm gonna go up to a medium and kind of split it in the middle. So half of the people that only eat it very rare and some people that like it cooked, everyone's happy, hopefully. Jackie got the short rib and I did decide to go with the prime rib and it came with a side of mashed potatoes and then I got a side of carrots too because I thought they looked really cool. Yeah. Aren't they? They look you know awesome. I'm try it. Oh yeah. For sure. uh, yeah, we're definitely we're sharing the carrots. Yeah. But this is unbelievable, guys. Oh and this fancy thing is a popover. A popover. It's popping. It's pop oh, I like that one. Oh yeah. And of course, we're gonna have to go a little prime rib. Oh wait, nope, a little prime rib and a little bit of mashed potatoes, all in one bite. I'm so excited to try this. Unbelievable. That is the best prime rib I've had in a very, very long time. The mashed potatoes are really good as well. Honestly, I never thought I'd be one to say that the carrots are one of my most enjoyable things about this meal. They are so delicious. They have a little bit of a crunch, a little bit of a crisp. Now, I like soft carrots, and these are just really good. And I also like candy carrots. So if you do like candy carrots and soft carrots, you'll like this because it's not completely hard. A little bit of a snap. But wow, overall, everything together is one of my favorite meals at Disney. I'm not, I'm not saying that just for saying it because I really do love prime rib. Now there's one other prime rib I do have to try and that's at Saratoga. I will make my way there, but I've been looking for a good prime rib spot. I think I've talked enough about the food. Now I just want to eat it. It is that good. Oh boy. Jackie, how is your short rib? So, so surprisingly delicious. Not that I didn't think it would be delicious, but... That was my second choice. Yeah, it's very high quality decent. Like, the meat tastes very high quality, the carrots, the potatoes. Like, I'm, I'm really surprised at, like, the level of freshness and quality of this. This is good stuff. Yeah. This is good stuff. I didn't expect, like, I knew it would be good. Like, you know what I mean? Like... Yeah! Like this, that's the ticket good. This is like a fancy nice dinner for a special occasion. Oh yes. Or any night that you want delicious food. Yep. That did not stand a chance. That's all I'm gonna say. It didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Unbelievable food right here. Take a look at this right here. This is the Maker's Mark Private Select. Absolutely fantastic. 108 proof. Holy moly with this. And I am actually gonna try it. Look, to go with our very delicious drinks, we got some spumoni. Spumoni, huh? Spumoni. This looks very interesting, doesn't it? Yeah, it really, really does. I'm very excited. But you're on your phone. You're on your phone. You're on your phone. Instagrammer. <laughs> and that is spumoni. Strawberry, pistachio, chocolate gelato, coated with chocolate raspberry sauce and whipped cream. It really does look really, really good. I just noticed the hidden Mickey there. How crazy is that? Come on. 
I'm using all my strength right now. I just wanted to see. Oh! <laughs> I did it! Oh, wow! Look at the inside! I feel so fancy because yeah. I actually am going to use the main dish. But look at this. I'm going to... got a side dish here. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna so this is, you know what, again? Neapolitan elevated. Neapolitan here is, elevated. It's just elevated with like finer, nicer ingredients. That was an absolutely delicious dinner. Now I think we're gonna head back out to the Disney Springs area. Maybe hit World of Disney or Disney style. Like I said, I'm still looking for that spirit jersey. Just look at how cool this place actually is though. That's why I like actually coming and hanging out here. It is just a really like cool environment. Very hip very prohibition hip and now it is actually nighttime and the springs have come alive very busy tonight it's open till 10 o'clock so we're gonna head on over to the world of disney area see if we can get some good shopping done but look at these guys they're rolling into the edison in proper attire i have to say you guys look fantastic wow this is how it's supposed to be done and as we were actually walking on over to the world of Disney, we noticed they have some live music going on. And I don't know if you can notice, I still have my clothes pinned from my bacon. It's really awesome to actually see all of the live entertainment. Hey guys! It's nice to see the live entertainment coming back to Disney Springs. Actually, the other day I came here and I just sat on top of the paddlefish and watched the sunset and I didn't use that footage for anything. So maybe I'll put that in right now for you guys and then we're gonna continue our shopping journey. So enjoy the sunset real quick. It'll only be a couple seconds. I was hoping on getting an actual spirit jersey, but it looks like they're directing traffic all the way down here. And the wait time to get in the world of Disney is anywhere between 20 to 30 minutes. So I think I might go to Disney style or Uniqlo and see what they have. This just seems like a long wait when normally I can just come back any other day. If you're here on vacation, you wanna get in the world of Disney, you gotta wait, you gotta wait. Instead of waiting in the long line at the World of Disney, we hopped over to Uniqlo and they have some pretty cool Disney shirts. Now these are like a little different design that you can only find here at Uniqlo. I gotta take this clothespin off. It looks ridiculous. Oh yeah! This is like an Aloha Mickey one. Aloha! I like it. I like it. I they have a lot of Aloha oh, Mickey. Like this, Aloha like this one that shirt. just says Mickey Aloha right here. And guess how much these shirts are? How much? $9.90. They don't have any spirit jerseys in this store, but they do have some pretty cool Disney sweatshirts. I love a lot of these Mickey sweatshirts. Look at this one. It's really cool seeing like old school style Mickey. This one's cool. Oh, and then even take a look at this one right here. I like this. These ones I think are only uh, $29.99. That's really good. Another really cool thing that they have here, other than just the sweatshirts and no spirit jerseys, is they have Mickey and Minnie, but in all different types of designs. And I like that. Of course, you got Steamboat Willie, classic Mickey. Then you got Cowboy Mickey. Then you got Hawaiian Mickey, like Oha Mickey, Chinese Mickey. There's so many different. What's this one down here? It's like Mickey painting. Oh, I like that one. Oh, I think I might get one of these. Wait a second, I am mind blown because now I can see all the Mickeys above me and it's blowing my mind. There's a little bit of a light there, but take a look at all those cool Mickeys and all the different Mickey designs. And they have all the t-shirts. This is really cool. And these are $19.90, so that's really cheap. So I decided I'm gonna get one of the classic Mickey shirts. I'm trying to show it to you, but it's a little not easy. Oh, yeah. That's cool guy. The Hawaiian Mickey. Yeah. I, honestly, I didn't know it was Hawaiian. I just thought it was cool guy Mickey. <laughs> but that's why I got it. The Hawaiian. <laughs> <laughs> and isn't that cool? Like they give you little like backpacks as yeah, bags. Yeah, I was just about to say. I yeah. Like, cool bags, like, bags. Like, Ooh. You know, 
And then take a look at all of these ones too. So like they have cars right here. And then a lot of Pixar stuff, Monsters Incorporated, Sully. Yeah. See, these things are amazing. They're $14. I'm sorry, but I really do love Uniqlo. Now I decided maybe I want to get myself a drink and why not stop at the hole in the wall because I hear they have basically the biggest beers you can get on property or in Disney Springs. It also looks like they have a wide selection of actual draft beers. I'm kind of interested in this Bloomsday Pale Ale. That's Orange Blossom. Is it Orange Blossom? That's Orange Blossom Pilsner. Ooh. Well, I maybe mean, we're going to give that a go. Beer, but that's the same brewery. Fancy. And there it is, 32 ounces for $15. That is such a deal. I know, it's kind of heavy. Wow, what did I do here? Oh wow, some more entertainment too. Wow. This is such a surprisingly huge beer. And I should have probably not went with a beer that I've never had before. It does taste pretty good, but I mean, I would probably a little bit more at ease drinking like a Bud Light. I had to actually take a seat so I could finish my beer, but I was kind of doing the math and this is such a value. You're basically almost close to getting three beers for the price of like one premium beer. And this is kind of a premium beer. I mean, they had all different types of uh, drafts there. So you may want to check out a hole in the wall. And plus it's called a hole in the wall. That's, that's, that's cool on its own. Yeah. And now it seems like everyone is exiting Disney Springs for the night. It's sad that it's closing at 10 o'clock, which is kind of still early, but on the weekends, it's definitely opened up a lot later. So I'm happy that we can still experience all of the springs at night during the weekends. And with that, I think I am done here. I'm sorry I keep on switching out my mask, but I just like having multiple masks throughout my day, even though this is slightly used because it's the one I started with. Anywho, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. And thank you to the Edison for uh, inviting us out to try the menu because that was fantastic prime rib. One of the best meals I've had in Disney in a very long time. So thank you guys. And that's gonna do it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.